had some meetings and then uh and then trying to come up for with a lineup for today. So uh, the news today, though, is uh, Colin McHugh, I got a text from him uh, last night. He came and talked to me today. He talked to Haim also. He is opting out, out of this season, um, and the reasons being, and I know he's going to, uh, to talk to you guys and address you at some point, but uh, the reason being is his arm's not coming around like you know, he had hoped. Um, and he knew that probably he was going to have to spend some time on the IL. And if he was going to do that uh, with what's going on uh, with the pandemic, he, he would feel better if he was at home with his family uh, during that time. So that's, um, that's the decision that he has made. And we, um, you know, support it. Uh, and we know it was a tough decision for him. And, uh, and he did, he did tell me he, um, you know, he felt bad, but, um, but this is what he thought was best for he and his family. So questions on that? Hey, Ron, um, what did you guys see in it, his development while, while he was working? Now, was the arm ever getting better or was it kind of just stuck the whole time he was trying to get it loose? Well, it seemed like he was getting better. And then, and then he kind of uh, got to a point where, where he wasn't making progress. So I know he threw a bullpen early on. And, and really hasn't thrown a bullpen in quite a while. So, um, so I think he, he kind of had a little up and down and, and, uh, I don't want to say it was a setback, but it, but a, a little bit up and down and, and just wasn't to the point where he thought he could progress and, and start throwing bullpens and get to the point where he was live BPs and then, and then into a game. Was there some expectation from the beginning that this was possible, that it was just so complicated that, he might not be able to pitch this season. Uh, I think it, uh, originally, um, you know, before the pandemic, um, we were we had thought that it may take, you know, half a season or or maybe a little bit longer uh, to get him back. Uh, and then after he got here, after we had that delay, and he came back, uh, it was just kind of a still monitoring. And I know uh, talking to Brad and his guys, it was still a, a rehab. Uh, so we were still trying to bring him back and get him to the point where we thought uh, that he would be a good pitcher for us. So, um, so anyway, it was just, you know, it's, it's always a tough decision when you, when you make these things and, and, uh, and I know he felt bad about it. Um, he seemed to be pleased about um, how things were going here, except, except certainly the arm. Uh, Ron, so just to be clear, he comes off the 40-man roster, correct, and, and that leaves you another open spot? Yes, he would. Thank you. Is there is there any plan for Hernandez to start working out? Uh, I didn't hear today. Uh, I know he was going to play catch yesterday, so... Um, so I'll have to find out from Brad, but hopefully he'll, we'll, we'll see him and you know, in the next couple of days and, and, um, and then he'll progress, you know, along with Eddie and, and JT. Ron, curious about your outfield rotation. Um, what you've seen from Verdugo defensively, um, obviously, you know, Kevin uh, is a tremendous outfielder defensively and you have Jackie and, and Andrew already pretty much set in their, in their spots. How are you looking at the outfield rotation? Well, it's, it's sometimes it's going to be a little tough on who to play and, and who not to, because we feel like we have four guys that um, are capable of playing every day. Uh, and I know JD wants to be in that mix. He doesn't like it when I exclude him from it. So uh, JD goes out there. He went out there yesterday and we'll get him out there once in a while. But the other four uh, makes it tough. Uh, you got three left-handers. So what I, I know when a left-hander's pitching, I want I want Pilar out there somewhere. Uh, and it kind of depends on who needs, maybe who needs a day off or who's struggling more against the left-handers. Um, so that's how I'm planning to do that. Now, if Pilar is really swinging the bat great and one of the other guys isn't swinging the bat so well, then obviously um, that's a part we'll, we'll get him in there more often. We know they're all good defenders. I, it's not like if we put one guy out there, he's a better defender than the other. So it really comes down the offensive part and who needs more rest. Um, but it's going I know right now it's going to be difficult because I like all four of them 
and I'd like to have all four of them out there a lot, and uh, and it's just impossible to do. Ron, have you decided who's going to start the uh, two exhibition games, pitching wise? Uh, yes. So we have uh, Weber uh, throwing the first one, and we're trying to figure out the second one because there's some innings that we need to get some guys. Uh, with Godley coming into this uh, mix, we want to get him out there. So I don't know if he'll start the game, but I know we're going to try to go two or three innings with him somewhere in that game. And then and then we'll try to have to figure out between BJ and Hart. Uh, there's a couple of relievers that Dave would like to pitch. So we haven't figured out for sure who's going to pitch that game. And how much are you looking for from Nate tonight from, uh, I guess, either innings or, or pitch count? <laughs> Yeah, it's more uh, more probably the innings. Uh, if if everything goes pretty good, we'd like him to go six. Um, if uh, if they're a little bit longer innings and and we don't roll them over, uh, then he'll probably go five. Ron, what are your plans for uh, for Thursday before the opener? Uh, it's going to be an off day for the guys, but I know already there's been some uh, guys that have told me they'll. Certainly the pitchers will want to come play some catch. And, and if the regulars need some BP, we'll bring them in and we'll give them some BP. And it's, uh, it's kind of individualized, but, but the day is off. Uh, and it's just if they tell us, hey, we, got, we have to get some more BP or we have to have something, then, then we'll come in here for them. And you mentioned before having trouble coming up with lineups for tonight. Are there guys not playing for some reason or anything? Or no, we we have a you know these guys they they like to they like the competition, so they pick some teams and and uh, we're we're trying to figure out the lineups according to the teams that they've picked. So that took a while. <laughs> Who are you going to be managing against in this game? <laughs> I'm going to flip back and forth. Yesterday, they, ac they accused me of being on the visitors' team because I was wearing blue. So um, I don't have a mixture of red and blue yet. Uh, Ron, that was some pretty sobering stuff from Eduardo Rodriguez, you know, talking about his battle with COVID and, and some of the symptoms that he experienced. Uh, I wonder what, what was it like for you communicating with him you know, being his manager, being someone who's known him for three years now, uh, you know, what it was like in your conversations with him while he was at home, you know, trying to recover from this. Well, the hardest part was that uh, he was still wanting to be that guy that pitched opening day. Um, in my mind, I was thinking the timing really doesn't work out well for that. I didn't tell him that at the beginning, but I told him it was going to be very difficult. Uh, so that was probably the hardest part is how he can maintain his strength if he's still still telling me that he wants to start, he's going to have to do some things that really with the virus, it doesn't allow you to do. So, um, so I think we're just trying to build up his strength again, but he was, um, I know he was really happy when he got the news that he could come and join the team and, and certainly happy when he stepped on the field. So uh, he's on a mission now to get himself in shape as fast as he can. And, um, and we get his arm built up and, and uh, be active as fast as we can. Ron, just to follow up on McHugh, um, his his decision wasn't based on anything related to health and safety protocols, anything like that, right? No, I, um, I and again, I think he, he will he will he will talk to you guys at one time. But um, what he told me was just strictly not feeling like he could uh, help us, you know, early on in the season, figuring out if he's going to go on the IL and where he's going to have to spend his time. Um, but the arm just didn't respond as fast as he'd like to. And with all that's going on, um, it's a little tough to figure out where you're going, going to be during a, a time when you have to be stuck in a hotel room. And, and that wasn't very appealing to him. Hey, Brian, knowing just how much of a, a setback this can be for a guy when he gets sick, um, do you allow yourself to think about just the, that may be a determining factor in which teams do well and don't this season is which team can just keep itself healthy. I mean, I know the primary concern obviously is just the player's health, but there is a baseball element to that where you just need your players. Uh, yeah, I think absolutely. That's, um, that's a concern. I think the the teams that will get into the playoffs are going to be teams that basically stay healthy and stay away from this. So, um, 
you know, I think we're doing a pretty good job of trying to keep the guys safe, but we can do as much as we can and still something can happen. Um, so to think about maybe having to lose, you don't know, four or five guys is, is a possibility, uh, makes a huge difference on, on thinking about trying to win and, and what you can do and, and depending on who those guys are also. So, um, some teams better have some really good depth if, if this becomes an issue. I'm hoping with what's going on, we're having less and less. So I, I feel pretty good about starting a season and the players feel really good about it. So uh, if we can keep, you know, keep the guys doing the right things and, and going through the right protocols, I, I think we should be okay. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. Thanks, Ron.